In this video series, we will start to explore apex charts. So this is one of the, the new ones, or not yet that, that famous chart JavaScript library. However, it is quite fascinating because it has some very nice features and colors, as you can see here, if you hover over it, these charts look really fancy, and their colors are very, very appealing. So let's explore this and how we're going to do this is we're going to use a very simple, we're going to use just basic HTML version of it. And to start with it, we just need, of course, our blank file. So we have a blank file here, that's this. And let's start and go to the documentation of it. So you can just click here on documentation. And what we'll do is we just follow here the installation. And you can see here we can do this NPM, we can use it with the import usage, or we just use the simple script version so we're going to work on this one so to do this what we do need is of course a standard template to do it very simple we're going to use I always use the bootstrap version here it's a very simple starter template here but basically we just need the header footer uh, was it the header the title the body etc etc so I'm just going to copy this I'm going to paste this in here and then we can just remove everything we don't need so we don't need this and we can call this here like apex chart apex chart that should be more than enough all right we copy this one here put it in there as the title and everything else here we don't need except well we don't need this all all right let's save this and once we did that we can just go here to our website here you can see here apex chart all right starts to work now let's work on key focus of the most important part which is of course the documentation here all right so what we're going to do is we're going to add here the script here and let's see if we can copy it without getting the link all right so it just gets the link so i'm just going to copy this here you can see there's a link on here no idea why but definitely not necessary so i'm going to put it in here you can put it here down as well it doesn't matter what you want all right so now we have the the apex chart javascript library ready so let's go and start to put on our first chart let's create our first chart here so what you do is just copy this all and then all we have to do is to render it it's it's, it's straightforward it's really really wonderful it's very simple and it makes it easy this is still a lot in development but let's put this in here for now all right so we're just going to add up this so once we did this, of course, we still need to connect them to the right uh, chart div. So what we do is we probably can move this down here because this will be important because we need to load the div or whatever it's going to target it first. So let's save this first. And once we save this, nothing happens yet. So we add it up here. However, what we still need to do is we need to create, of course, the div where it is. So you can see here the variable chart is we need to search for the chart selector here. So if you click here on the code pen, you can see here they have, and this is their entire code. Basically, you need a div with the chart name or div ID with chart. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to copy this one for now. And then we're going to paste this in here. So let's paste this in here. And let's save this. So once we did that, Let's put that one away and put that away as well. So let's refresh. You can see now we have our nice chart here. Beautiful. And you can see when you can download it as all kind of options. However, what did we do exactly? And why did we have to put this below that? So let me show you exactly why. So if we move the div down here and let's save this and then refresh, you can see it doesn't work. Reason why is let's open up our developer tab. It says here, uh, possible unhandled problems so uh, error element not found what happened is exactly is that our element must be first loaded before JavaScript can render it so we need to first push this up put in here the div and then the JavaScript will find it and then it does exactly what it needs to do because if you do this after this piece of JavaScript it will not work because it doesn't find or it cannot find this variable first same goes as well here if you have this script and you would move this script down here so we save this let's refresh and now you can see here apex charts not defined reason why can i read the commands that we're using 
So you can look here, we have this command. And this command explains why. We're not able to find it because this command is something within here, but of course, because of the order, it reads this, but it says, hey, I don't understand this, and then it will stop. So this is very important. Let's put this back up here. You can even put it here down. You don't have to put it in the header itself. Just put it like that. That will be fine as well. Let's remove this and save this. Refresh here. Now it all works perfectly. So this is the first video, and next video we'll start to work on fine-tuning this a bit more.